buttons. Yes, yes, you do. With a red candy like button. Indeed. Ah, the cats and dogs are going at it again. You go, little coal Stealth. kitten! And let's ah. see. Yes, okay, that's going. So. Hmm, middle of the night, not the most visible, but should I show off? Not um, yet! Wait for everyone to come time. online! Okay. <laughs> well, it, it's all showing, that's the thing. We are running. Yes, we are running. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, <laughs> as most people know, uh, Ladonia here hit big 5 0 a week or so ago. <laughs> so I went and got her a couple of gifts via the Mog Station for the birthday. Yeah. Go ahead and switch over to me. Okay. Okay. So, so this, this is, is the account wide, wide thing. thing. The other one, the other one is on this character. character. The Cat Cat Bugle. Bugle. This horn, this horn emits a playful hum that calls a rotund and gets sweetly feline inside. Feedback. Mm, yeah, we, yeah, we, are, we are getting double, double audio. audio. Give me a second. Ah, that's, ah, that's why. why. Indian yeah. source is on. Or actually, Stop no, no that should be on. That, that should be off. And that should be off. How's it sounding now? Bad dragon. Poor sound design. Any better? Yeah, but your audio needs to be a little better. Aww. Talk a little. Oh, if I must talk a little. I suppose I could do something. Okay, about that's better. That. Okay, try again. With okay. the bugle. <laughs> yes, the fatter cat bugle. This horn emits a playful honk that calls a rotund yet sprightly feline to your side. Mount guide, I have all of five things. The fatter cat, and yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. Seeing as how this Percy Puss and Pussy can defy the very laws of physics by propelling itself high into the firmament, yes, once we have the ability to have our mounts fly, this one flies. Somehow. It is very likely that the creature is either a void scent using a bloated cat's corpse as its corporeal vessel, or a deceased pet reanimated by one well-versed in the necromantic arts. Ew! <laughs> yeah. The entire city would be would be overrun with large testicle raccoon dogs and flying rainbow cats. <laughs> nice quote. And... and there it is. And I have one too. It is a loaf cat. Yes, it, it, it loafs so beautifully. I told you about Gyodo when he was on this uh, a little while ago and someone came up to him and was like, What the freaking hell is that? Sentient mochi? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And Gyodo's only response is, Be tasty if it was. <laughs> Oh, Gyodo, that's that's your cat. <laughs> okay, um so yeah, well, that was one of my birthday presents. <laughs> and it is all the adorbs. Yeah. So, as you can see up in my mini map or my mini Ladonia's map. main map, I'll back to myself. Uh, we have a green bang to turn on in to continue with our uh, MSQ. There is also a new event going on that's possible, though we've got a little time before we could do it. It's up to you whether we want to break and do the event now or continue with MSQ, which is pretty hefty nowadays.
uh, to do the event, which is actually a crossover event with Dragon Quest X. Oh, we've got one vote for crossover. What does everyone else think? Continue with story or crossover event? Is the crossover a limited time event? Yes, but it goes to the 27th. So it's a limited time event. Two votes for crossover. Two. Do, do, do. Okay, two crossovers, a uh, anything's good and no preference. Uh, anything's good and no preference. So it looks like we're doing the crossover event. Shall I port to Ulda? Because writing there would take a while. <laughs> And if I remember right, this event gets weird. Um, <laughs> oh, and I should turn that off. Uh, one of the things we did offline before you guys came on is I went ahead and took Pugilist and Ladonia here worked on Lancer so that uh, when we hit 30 in both of them, we can just show you the entire story chain with them. Uh, because the stories with Lancer, it actually affects things that happen in the upcoming expansion. And with Pugilist, and with Pugilist, things happen with the second expansion. Ah, uh, Havark, Alvark. Yes? Oh, that's right. I have to turn this back on. Uh. Are they not hearing me? Sorry, they were not hearing you. And My bad. The, and I already went through the intro. Give it. Of course, uh, you did it too. Yeah, I clicked on it too. But I'm still at the first bubble of ham, so. Yeah, same here. I am Havak Alvak, a self-styled student of sundry subjects. Though I am best known, perhaps, for putting pen to parchment on for a popular paper, the Mithril Eye. In these times of trials and tribulations, a subject of singular strangeness has ensnared my sen senses. Magical monstrosities, more commonly known as golems. But I speak now of no common creation of magecraft. No, these shambling servants of stone have no equivalent in all of Eorzea. Should these curious constructions contain ores of extraordinary origin? Well, I can only imagine the influence it might exert over Uldha's economy. Amalgina and Sun's mineral concern has come to a congruent conclusion, and its superiors seek a savvy adventure to separate the facts from the fantastic. A representative of Amalgina and Sons awaits outside our Zanath Ossuary. If exploring this enigma seems an enter entertaining endeavor, then I would wander over before this window of opportunity is wasted. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Dragon Quest logo. Yeah. Totally Dragon Quest. <laughs> Don't remember noticing that at the time, but I... A lot of the crossovers, I didn't notice that until about, like, the second or third one we went through. Yeah. Um, that they the were doing the logos like that. Yeah, they all get special logos if they're crossovers. Ah, 
why you're doing it again. Oh, sorry. Should I shift into a different class? Nah. Only Actually, uh, this was lo level one, wasn't it? This one? I have no idea. No, level seven. Yep. We can technically do it as... Yeah... Right, I need to... Hello, Foxfire! Uh, we are just starting on a new crossover event with... Oh, Dragon... new old. Yeah, new old dra uh, crossover event for Dragon yeah. Quest X. I remember this part. Uh, the beefy businessman who refuses to look at the girls. Hey, don't sneak up on me like that. Are you trying to make me soil my britches? Huh? You're here for the job, are you? Well, I hope you've eh, you've experienced dismantling golems. Kinda. I mean, we've we've been through Copper Bell. <laughs> we've been gathering reports of some never foreseen constructs would have been showing showing up all over the damn realm. Nary a soul knows what the creatures are made of, so Amaljina and Sons means to be the first to take a pickaxe to this mystery motherload. I need you to get out there, take apart one of them shambling piles of bricks, and bring me back a good size chunk of the remaining rubble. What do you say, eh? Will you give it a shot? No, give I'm it not a gonna shot. give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a lance. <laughs> I think I am a machinist. <laughs> good lass. I'll have a nice, refreshing reward for you when you get back. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I know, that scares me too. And can we talk to her yet? Yes! We can already purchase the slime crown hat! Will it show on us? No! No! It is a bun bun fail! <laughs> it is complete bun bun fail! Oh, I am... I am bun bun sad. I am truly bun bun sad. I, I, I expect them to remove our ears just to see the wandering, jiggling glory of it all. Yep, there's someone with the bun. Yep. Hold on, hold on. I gotta examine this. I mean, look at that thing. <laughs> and it has jiggle physics involved. I'm not showing there, but yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the many great rewards you can get out of this quest. Um, right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth a it's, good giggle. It's just... It's Dragon Quest. You've got to have the slimes. Yeah. Do the Hrothgar actually get the hat? I don't think they do, which is just no idea. disappointing. I mean, a Hrothgar in that thing would be hilarious. The one feet here is not available. Do we want to port around and see if we can get one of the other feats? Um, sure. I mean, if it's like some of the other stuff, it should come up pretty fast or fairly regularly. Um, yeah, there's one there. I want to see one in the shroud, but I'd have to look it up. Let's see what I got. Okay. The other two, one's in the Blind Iron Mines in Lower Law Nosea. Mm -hmm. The other is in 
Oh, there's several around. We are not doing the one in Camp Bronze Lake. No. Uh, there is one off of Central Shroud Brent Branch Meadows. What's the title on it? Breaking Bricks or something? Um, Brick by Brick. Okay. Why don't you check uh, Central Shroud and I'll check uh, Limza. popping through a couple different zones because the eighth right for Lower Lalanose is all the way at the far end. Do you know where in Central Shroud it'll tend to be? Uh, right outside of Bent Branch Meadows. Okay. Leave on my mind and Clever Girls is it at the moment. Yeah, it, it'll be kind of where the cave opens up on the water stream. Hmm. There's usually another fate that happens right on top of it. Hmm. Well, not at the moment. And none here. Man! might have to go fake camping. so fast that we can't get there. Yep, yep, yep. Trust me, I've got the map a little bit. Keeping an eye out. bulbs at once in constant yeah. stream. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
potion. Oh boy. And I have a blue moogle who's come to help. A blue moogle. Yes. You'd have to switch in. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that uh, Moogle will save my butt. Oh, the house of sticks is up. I keep hoping it'll pop here and it hasn't popped. Yeah. No luck here. Uh, wish we could have someone for the third. Not the good news of the uh, feed popping, darn it. Not seeing it yet. Same here. Training day. Oh, good grief. Just outside and unsync. 
so he can basically just snot out heels on me. Nice. Yeah. Because, well, he can't help attack. He can the most yeah, certainly he help heal. heal. It's probably in one of the upper zones. Yeah, that would not be a help. They hadn't quite figured out their pattern, at, meaning SE. Yeah. And they haven't quite, they were trying really hard to put a lot of things on the face, but they found that um, at least in the North American market, a lot of people didn't care for the fate grinding. <laughs> Worthy. <laughs> I am just shy of 11. Very good. Now, if the freaking fate would freaking fuck a fuck a fuck a fuck a fuck a fate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Fricassee fate? Yeah, I don't know if um, this early one is on a timer like some of the more recent ones. Yeah, which is what I was expecting. But yeah, it's not acting like it. Or do we have to just run around and pop fates until it happens? Yeah, which is what I'm trying to work on very, very slowly. Rose 
wrestling ships aren't much of a challenge anymore. Okay, in case for some reason mine pops, mm -hmm. what you'll want to do is port to Linza, go right. out to the front gate, then immediately swing to the right and go through the mine. And you'll be practically mm. right on top of it. But that's actually the closest eight to right. You. Brick here. Okay, on my way. And we've had some other people doing feet grinding, so they might be about to go rush it. So progress is still zero. Yeah, I'm reporting to Central Shroud right now. Yeah. And I am in the map. I just got my Arbor Buzzard. And someone has started it. Oh god! Hopefully I can get there in time. No. Wait for no, me. no, it's multiple. Oh yeah. The Oh god, yeah. And there's a big guy who's decombobulated. You're right. There we go. Wow, these guys are going over easy. Yeah, look at that. Bar. Okay. Gold. And Yes. Great, them. <laughs> now for the big guy. Stone Brickman. Stone Brickman appears, fight wisely, and couple this towering menace. Okay, here. So he's going down hard. Wow. Silver. But I got flesh yeah. complete. Yep. Now to clean up all the guys who added in during this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the fatter mat it uh, fatter cat mount is absolutely hilarious. And it just loafs when it stops. <laughs> okay, we are going back to Ulda. Mm -hmm. No, no, that, was, that pretty much was his final form. Thankfully, he did not grow one wing. <laughs> he grows one wing, I'm out of here. Yes, I, I love the Carvocal mounts. Um, Ladonia has the... Uh, blue. I forget what they call it. 
It's not emerald. It's the uh, sapphire. Sapphire uh, carbuncle. I have the topaz carbuncle, and there's apparently a uh, ruby. A ruby carbuncle now. Have you taken a sample of one of them on golems? As a matter a of fact, of them, we have. Brickman chunk. A hefty piece of rubble salvaged from the remains of a mysterious golem. Ooh, now ain't that special. That luster, that shine. Can you smell it? Tis a sin of profit, my friend. That's some fine work you did, Adventure. Very fine indeed. Now, just as I promised you, I, pr I prepared a payment for you're sure to enjoy. And here we go. This scares me. Don't be shy now, lass. We all need a bit of pampering from time to time. Ah, the jewel, my lovely. <laughs> can we interest you in the... How can we say puff puff? This way, we show you a good time. It's not hurt, I promise. I don't really know about this. <laughs> um, uh, er. Silence, silence is the best answer. Yes, silence is the best answer. <laughs> with the eyes closed. <laughs> Brace yourself. Here it comes. <laughs> Have you ever felt something, anything so warm and soft? Just relax and enjoy. in the pit of the puff puff ourselves. <laughs> Me thanks again for your cooperation, lass. Here's a little something extra what ain't so fleeting. Thank you. You do realize those things are void sense, right? <laughs> well, since they're probably originally FF... Or, or not FF, but Dragon Quest Ten critters not technically void scent they're void scent they are so void scent i am so out of here <laughs> uh reva or i mean <clears throat> uh, it was good meeting me uh, look forward to doing business with you again sometime yeah you guys go <laughs> ah, the adventurer you're triumphant in your tussle against the towering titans i trust as it so happens, I have been hired by Amalgina and Sons to craft an account of the aforementioned anomaly. I'd best begin before the focus on these fantastical foes fa falls out of fashion. Uh, it, it, as long as we can avoid the puff puffs, we're good. We are so good. My remuneration has promised to be most refreshing and perhaps a bit, uh, perhaps a touch risque. I fear I haven't an inkling as to what is, is implied, but I shall look forward to it nonetheless. No, don't. Skip it. <sighs> Trust me. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Don't touch it, it's evil! Don't touch it, it's void scent. Um. <laughs> and we get a wind-up brick man and the thug's mug. 
which goes in the armoire permanently. And stays there. Oh, grabs. Thank you. Blood so, bath. Yeah, that seems appropriate for some of this. I got no. Nope. Nope. The thug's mug does not work on the bun buns either. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, the wind up brick man. The brick man gets up and looks over as if it wants to join the party. As it's a new minion. Minion guide. One unexpected side effect of the Calamity has been a significant increase in ethereal rifts appearing throughout the realm. As a result, strange creatures not of this world have been popping in and out of existence without warning. One of those being the bizarre brick man. And the quote being, "Can you smell it? Tis a scent of profit, my friend." Beefy business man. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Smells uh, like brick dust. With that, I think uh, we should uh, head back to Corydale. Please. <laughs> please and thank you. No, just please. <laughs> the puff. The puff. No, not the puff puff. <laughs> <laughs> now that that pain is over. Oh, die. Die, Archie. Yes, die. It's, that, that's a different kind of pain. I remembered it got kind of questionable, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> you forgot that? That was the only part I could remember. <laughs> I think it was, it was more... into my brain. <laughs> I think I was more going to just, like, forget it. Forget all of it. <laughs> Mifford? Uh, seven hells. We leave behind the only home we've ever known and risk our lives to travel here. And now you mean to kick us out on our arses? No room for Alamegans who venerate Ralgar, is, is that it? Let's destroy or take you and your infernal in elementals. Yeah, that's not wise. Barmund? It's well to see you return. Have you the medicine for our brother? As a matter of fact, we do. Herbal ointment. If one is to believe Buscarin, this sour-smelling paste from Alamigo will stop a wound from festering. Gods bless you, adventurer. I'll see that galleon receives treatment at once. Hopefully, this will allow the captain to rest easier. It's been a terrible burden on him trying to keep every man alive. You've done us great kindness, friend. And you're trying to do us a... Uh, yeah, no. Hey, I'll take that belt. Maybe the belt. Nee. Show me the money. Some of ours have had to remain outside the hamlet. They're hurting soldiers all and no strangers to discomfort. But it's a trying experience being in a place that loves you not. Mifford? He ain't heavy. Mifford needs your help to find a missing comrade. A adventure. Galleon has gone missing. He's nowhere to be found. He shouldn't be walking about, not with those wounds. If he doesn't get the proper medicine and rest, his condition is likely to deteriorate to where it was before. Or worse. We need you to help us find him, and quickly. Start by asking Albreda. Might be his woman seen something. Okay, we will do this thing. Eh, it's not like it's Actually, a long trip. Check these two real quick. Farman shouldn't be. Yep. Yeah. Alfred. Okay. Which is what he was saying before the quest. Yeah, the reason why I'm being a little anal about. Uh, Retalking is I went through uh, Gyodo in Ratika Woods, and a couple of conversations that were really key to lore of the world he somehow missed. Oh, 
and I don't want to say which ones they are on air because they would be major spoilers. <laughs> yeah, about as major as they can be, knowing that eh, that zone. Ah, uh, uh, no, that's you. Never mind. Ah, finally! It's about time you came asking about Galen. I watched him leave Quarry Mill some time ago, and he left me the sealed letter before he went off. Maybe made me swear not to open it until someone came ask him. My brothers, I cannot bear to be the burden any longer. That is why I must leave you all. Do not worry for me. I will just find your way safely to Little Alamigo. <sighs> Blast it! Would I have known he w what he was thinking, I would have stopped this folly myself. The love Galen bears for his brothers is so strong, he's willing to sacrifice himself for them. Make no mistake, entering the woods in his weakened state is suicide. Yeah, this is not going well. Out in the wilds, alone? That fool! That great big sentimental fool! My men and I will scour the woods for, uh, woods for Gengelion. Please help us find him before something terrible happens. Okay, environment is not changed. I believe we have to sneak around the daddy camp. Eh, that would be best. Going straight through the center of it would not be so good. Oh, that that would be suicide. Those go gobbies have good yeah. lob arms. Yeah, yeah. It is kind of like poking a Morlock village. <laughs> Watch out! A goblin! He just avoided all of that! What are you doing here? a little poop to the face. Yeah, that should hurt. Okay, Galen. Come on. Galleon! Captain, but why? You should all be on your way. Who do you take us for? We're Alamegans, and Alamegans never forsake one another. Hardships be damned. Remember the oath we swore, God's damn it. The oath to reclaim our homeland. We'll set foot in Alamegan soil again, together, or not at all. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Good. Let us return to our brothers. Oh, and don't even think that you'll get off lightly. As soon as you're healed, I'll give you such a thorough thrashing, you'll wish we didn't find you. Can't thank you enough for saving Galleon. I will see you back at Quarry Mill. I have staff hair. Yes, yes you do. There, there's the citrine carbuncle. And the aquamarine. Ah, it's aquamarine. That would make sense. Yeah. And they glow and everything. And when they fly, and yes. they have this little oh, fairy bell wonderful. chime to them. It's adorable. Yeah. The carbuncles are just all around awesome. Oh, went too far. My bad. Admittedly, having all three each of us would be kind of neat too. Yeah. Checking with Faramund. Not the same as before. Yep. Galleon's expected to make a full recovery. We'll linger here till he's strong enough to take to the road again. As much as I mislike this place, beggars can't be choosers. I'll take the high potions. Yeah. Checking. Yep, still the same. Come highly recommended. 
Bedford wishes to repay your kindness. Now that things are relatively settled, I seem to recall that you wanted something of me. You've proven a true friend to, to my people. Ask of me anything and it's yours, so long as it's mine to give. Cooperation of the people of Little Alamigo? That's all. Far be it for me to question your desires, of course. Very well, I provide you. I'll, I will provide you with a letter to show to Gundafald. The old bear was my mentor when I first joined the resistance. He's intimidating to those who don't know him, but he takes care of his own. I have no doubt that he will do all in his power to aid you. And we shall cheat and teleport to Little Alamigo. Nah, we wouldn't do something like that, would we? Yes, yes we would. We totally would. Okay. Because it's a lot of slug and ride through two zones with no... No, speed no mouth increase, yeah. Taking my time in the ethereal sea. I could see that. Ramfing. Ways northeast of here, you'll find the sepulcher. Frightly, eh, frightfully named place, no? Fitting, though, seeing as how it's best known as the home to the Velanus Corpse Brigade, which is pretty much the same. Mm hmm. Think that the erstwhile Kingsguard of Alamigo could end up a band of murderers and thieves. Mind you, they had a less than pristine reputation in the old days as well. Well, they were yeah. the Kingsguard to. Well. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. The Mad King Thurdrick. Why have you returned? You are not welcome here. I thought I made that clear. But we have but, a letter. We have a note. From Mefred. Mefred's recommendation. A quickly drawn up letter addressed to one Gundabald. You you spoke with Mefred. It's been so long since I last heard from him. I feared him dead. Twelve be praised. Whoever you are, Mefred sees you as a friend, and any friend of Mefred is a friend of mine. I know of this masked stranger you seek and will tell you what I can. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Item comparison. Yeah, actually, I'm going to take that ring. And I'm going to put it on. Right. You ready? No. 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 I'm still working on my rings. Okay. That's the Thaumaturge. Of course, this is really not a... So, no, no that rings more for, like, yeah. So I got that, I got that. So we'll do that. And that's uh, 27. Okay. Okay. Now I'm ready-ish. The bear and the young'uns cares. Gundabald is willing to share with you what he knows of the masked stranger. An outsider resembling your masked stranger has reportedly been appearing near Little Alamigo of late. What's more, it seems that some of our young bloods are meeting him in secret. No doubt you'll want to question them about their trysts, but they are not like to yield in the information readily to an outsider. If you tell them I sent you, though, they may well feel obliged to speak. Much obliged to you. Alanin? Oh, fine. Gundabald sent you. I, uh... Listen, I told them it was a bad idea. All that tripe about believing the masked man and... Oh, oh, you, you didn't know anything about this. Why didn't you say so to start with? 
You can't throw an old bear's name around like that and expect me not to think I'm in for it. Yeah, well, you might be. Over here. A masked man? No idea what you're talking about. I ain't done nothing wrong, so leave me be. And way on the other side. Yep. There's a lot of going back and forth between the two halves of this place. Are we keeping Baron up? Mm, a little. Up, oh, down below. That happens a lot, too. Great. Secret? What? Have I been meeting any masked men lately? Uh, let's see. Nope, can't say I have, but I'll be sure to tell all my friends you're looking for him. Oh, gee, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice inconspicuous investigation out the window. Telebot? There's a bunch you have been skulking about right suspicious-like, but I've got nothing to do with them. I know trouble when I see it. And that there's trouble, mark me words. Oh, yeah. you have no idea. Yeah, it's about as troublesome as trouble can get. confirmed my suspicions about a masked man. That is most troubling. Whatever the young ones are, are scheming, it can lead to no good end. There's an anger inside them. I can see it in their eyes. I ought to know, for it once burned within me as well. Two decades ago, that same anger drove me and my brothers to rise against the despot who ruled Alamigo. Naught would do but to dis depose him and usher in a revolution. Well, we got our revolution all right, but it cost us our freedom. Blinded by our hate, we didn't realize that we'd been dancing to the Empire's tune. By the time we did, it was too late. Alamigo had fallen. There are times when a man must be patient. Now is such a time, though the young ones know this not. Unless we intervene, they are like to commit great folly. If you learn aught of their plans, I would thank you to bring word to me. I'll take and that some wine green tie. Yeah, I'm not taking the spine drops, that's for sure. Imprint? Hold on. Gundabald. Frustrated as they are, the young ones here will give you a quarrel simply for want of something to do. All it takes is a stray gaze. Watch yourself. Good advice. Thank you. Willred wants you. Rimfring has a secret message for you. Hey, Venturer. You done talking with the old bear? Yeah. I've got a message for you from Willred. I had something of a leader among the young ones here. He is impressed that you've won over Gundabald and wants a word with you. Says he'll be waiting over at the craggy area north of here. Might I suggest not going in as a non-combat class? Just in case. Uh, I don't have any non-combat classes. Well, then you're probably set. Actually, let's try the map side on. Uh, yeah, I think this way is a little safer. There's this real nasty knot right in here of really nasty critters that will show us up and spit us out. Mm-hmm. Okay, Urza. Yeah, time to outrun anybody who'd try to attack us. Which around here might be everyone. 
Yeah, um, this uh, mount speed isn't helping. No, it never does. I think the uh, Baron sounds is off. Give me one second. Mm. Nope, stay. Stay. <laughs> Bad earbuds. No sliding off the desk. are back. Good. Thanks for coming, friend. Tis no ordinary outsider who can gain the trust of the old bear. That's why I wanted to meet you, to discuss something in private. Tell me, why are you snooping about? Did the Empire send you, or someone else? Someone else. Definitely someone else. Coral got your tongue? No matter. Whoever it is you work for, your middling ends here. Get her! Of and course it's a trap! Make sure you're not in a non-combat class. Steady, steady! Mm-hmm. You know, two against two just is not going to work with us. E you're stronger than you look. Oh, gee, thanks. That's a nice compliment. <laughs> this changes nothing. Threaten us, beat us bloody all you like, but nothing short of death can make us give up our fight. We're going to obtain the power to bring down the Empire, and with it, we'll reclaim our homeland. Uh, this has a familiar ring to it that I am not liking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think... don't like where this one ends. It always ends badly. Exactly the type of thing that, uh, slight spoiler, we're going to be cleaning up a lot of in the future. Kathy. Oh, gun Attacked by Will Red and his cronies. But they would go to such lengths for the sake of this plan of theirs. Left to their own devices, the young fools are like to harm others, if not themselves. You must uncover their agenda and put an end to this madness. Yeah, definitely themselves. Hmm. That's about equal. Oh, it a ghost spin wristband with a good skin wristband. Right. Um <laughs> let's go ahead and try the horn necklace. That will be an upgrade for Oh yeah, to the Withered Choker. Really? There. Oh, that's right. Oh look! Side quests! No. That never happens. Oh, sorry. Side quest. Singular. Oh. Are they cheaping out on us? Corpse Confrontation. You can keep those potions. No, really, you can keep them. Grimfing needs your aid in disposing of some brigands. Perhaps you've heard of the Corpse Brigade. Yes. Nasty band of brigands that's been terrorizing these parts of late. 
smuggling, thievery, cold-blooded murder of innocents. If you see any signs of foul play in these parts, like as not, the corpses are behind it. I'd like nothing more than to march into their hideout to the northeast and teach them a lesson. But I know when I'm outmatched. Normally, I'd hesitate to trust, uh, trust a task to an outsider. But you seem a capable sort. What say you teach these scofflaws a lesson? Okay, we can totally... Uh... We're getting fancy. I got my stabbers and my feebles and they're ready to go sneaky snack. No doubt. <laughs> Oh, wrong way. This exit over here. The place is a warren. Mm-hmm. Oh, cat oh, loaf. God. <laughs> it's the Mooga love seat. <laughs> that too. There's a cat loaf right in front of it. Yes. I'm still kind of excited at the rumors of the eight-person mount. I really hope it's a chocobo carriage. <laughs> I mean, they've already got the model in-game. They just need yep. to program it. Like he's seen better days. Okay, guys. Want to do a sleep on the group? Oh. I didn't think about that. Just kill them all. Let the server sort them out. I don't have any AoEs! Well, that makes one of us. That's you. See? It's fine. Oh, when I need- Hey, I needed those knuckle dancers. I need some more. Of course, we're headed to where all of them are. Yeah, they're off this way. Why don't we uh, take care of them while we're here? Okay, I got all mine, but uh, you said you needed some. I got- uh, I saw a two of four go by. Yeah, I still need the knuckle dancers. Three of four. Four of four over here. Mm-hmm. Ta-da! There. Thaumaturge 28. Nice. Uh, for the hunt, right? Yes. Level 28 is getting closer, though. Yeah, I don't have much more to go. Well, we've got the sandstone golems. So it's just kind of over yeah, off this I'll way a to... little. And I need to go into 990s. And Western Thamelan. I just have sandstone golems, the coral cutters, and coral hunters, which are in Silent Arbor, and those are going to be painful. Oh, those yeah. are going to be painful. Thaumaturge needs overgrown ivy and nine ivies. Mm. Laughing Toad in the footfalls. Right. Fire Sprite in the Red Labyrinth. Oh. And Stropper. In, the, in Sorrel Haven. Stroppers! Oh! Yeah. For those at home uh, playing the home game, Stropper. Another name for Morble. Yeah, it's a type of Morble. Ew. Morbles. And they're bad for yeah. us. Give that, give that Morble a mint! <laughs> There's no mint big enough. Thank you, Outsider. Your victory is already the talk of the town. 
That may not mark the end of the Corpse Brigade, but at least now they know we're not afraid to fight back. And to think these men and women were once my countrymen, they know no shame. Back in the heyday of Alamigo, the Corpse Brigade served our nation with pride and honor. It saddens me to see what they have become, but I would slay them down to the last if it would ensure that they besmirch our homeland's name no more. Hey, yeah, no hard feelings or anything. Double checking. Yep, that's it. Big trouble in little Alamigo. Oh dear. Gundevald needs your help to rein in the young ones of little Alamigo. Well, I had mentioned obtaining the power to bring down the Empire. What power could he be speaking? Gun! Gundevald! <gasps> I... Oh, that would be my life. <laughs> no. She looks awfully healthy for that line. Yes, yeah, she does. Bertlinda, or Bertliana, God's preserve, what happened? I was out foraging when the Corpse Brigade came. They took me to their hideout, and they... They... All the while they laughed at me. They said I suffered because I came to hope. Is it wrong to dream of a home? Is it wrong to call ourselves all amigans? Do not heed such poisonous notions, child. Our dreams are what sustain us. Be strong. I swear to you, those villains will answer for their crimes in due time. But tell me, does anyone else know of this? Will Rid, he saw me out lying, outside. He was so angry. I must end the Bertliana. In the meantime, I need you to find out what the young ones make of this. I fear they may do something rash. Yeah. Something rash seems likely. That has not changed. Ascertain use intentions. Ah, there's a map over here. Map of Zanrak. Oh boy. Yeah. For those who don't know, Zanrak um. is right here. And it's oh, all okay. of Malja territory. Okay. You know, the guys who summoned to free. Yeah. You don't suppose they'd want to summon a freed again, do you? I freed so. Ow! <laughs> that, that pun was so bad it burned. <laughs> did to Bertliana is unforgivable, and to think they looked down on us. Well, I'll suffer this humiliation no more. I'm with Wilfred to the bitter end. I'm not afraid of a few lizards. You should be. Why are they going after the lizards if what the people they hate are the corpse brigade? Lord of Destruction, we implore you, lend us your strength and put an end to the suffering of your people. Huh. Here to interfere again? Well, you're too late. Our plan is already in motion. 
Once we have the crystals, our enemies will pay for their crimes, and no one will dare oppress us ever again. Wait, wait, you're going after the Amalja crystals that they Charger use? crystals. To summon yeah. a freight. Oh boy, this is not good. This is so not good. Bad, bad, very bad, very bad, bad, bad. bad definitely, bad. definitely bad. Wild youth. <clears throat> If this plan succeeds, we'll have the power to lay the Empire low, to change the world for the better. Might be as Gundabold's content to eke out an existence in this mussy old cave, but I'll be damned if I'm going to spend the rest of my life here. Now, where in the Seven Hells did I put that bloody map? Uh, you mean the one I've got in my back pocket? Don't tell him! Aww! Tell Gundabold. Yeah, um... Whatever they're planning, I fear I know what it is, and it is a bad idea. Good idea? Bad idea. Really, really, really bad idea. This will lead to bad end. <laughs> yes. Yes, it will. Oh, Gundabold, we have a problem. Gone. A whole lot of them. And it is as I feared. They mean to take matters into their own hands. Uh, what exactly is it that they mean to do? Well, blunt hunting knife. Countless years of use have seen the blade dulled and nicked and the haft worn smooth. Zanrak map. A detailed map of the Amalgia stronghold in southern Thanalan. That's this. A hunting knife and a map of Zanrak. Wait, you said Wilfred spoke of crystals, did you not? They couldn't possibly mean to. By the gods, this is rank madness. Young fools are untrained and unbloodied to all. They have no notion of how dangerous the Amalja are. They'll be butchered before they get within a hundred yalms of the crystals. They are headed east. If we hurry, we may yet find them before it's too late. All right, Urza, time to ride! So, uh, if we need to hurry, Gundabold, why are you standing there? Quick, quick! Come on, Gundabold, come on! He's, he's just standing there. He knows teleportation magic, doesn't he? Mm, maybe. Somebody had better. things look ungood. It's not you. It's Square. It's Square. <sighs> Totoro comes out and shakes his tiny fist. Yoshi P! <laughs> Duty commence. No others survive. This is all wrong. Getting the crystals was supposed to be the start. We were going to reclaim our homeland. We were... We... Pull yourself together, lad. We, we were going to make an offering of crystals to Ralgur to summon him. J just like the masked man taught us. Plotted to sneak into Xanarak and make off with the lizard man's cage. But, but they caught us and... So many dead. Gods forgive me. Heathens! You'll pay for your crimes with your souls. And that would be the Amalja, wouldn't it? Yep! Right on time. Hi, scaly boys! I regret our young one's transgressions, but a soul is too high a price for youthful folly. For all their failings, they are the hope of, Al of the Alamagan people. This hope I will guard with my life.
speed of fire! Or I use Eco. Healing us, yes, yes, it is Gundabolt. I saw that early. Someone's healing them as well. <sighs> Duty complete. I've got a ways to go. I will wait here for you. In fact, do 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 do. Switch it over to your screen. Damn it. It'd be easier if I wouldn't have to dodge these current conscripts all the time. There we go. Yeah, you almost got it. I didn't um half a minute ago, that's for sure. Good job. Your skill at arms is impressive, adventurer. Our wayward youth could learn much from a woman like you. The battle is, is won, but it would be unwise to linger here. Let us return to little Alamigo. Wait! We've come all this way. We have to get the crystals. They're right there, right for the picking. No, no, no they're not. No, and you're it's not. a bad idea. Have you learned nothing, Willard? Did you not see those tempered wretches? Such is the fate of those who are touched by a god. Is that what you desire for yourself and your friends? What? No one said anything about... The masked man told us we could defeat the Empire if we summoned Relger. He swore... Enough. I'll hear the rest of this story, sorry, tale back in Little Alamigo. I dare say Ladonia will wish to hear it as well. Me too! Yeah, I'm all ears. <sighs> Hiya. So, where were Going you? Going my way? There was this huge fight! Yeah, I know! You were there, and you were there, and who are you? Hush you, get on the boat. No more lies, Willard. Tell us.
loves everything. I was outside with the others when he appeared. The masked stranger. He told us about summoning Ralgar, about using crystals, and then just vanished. We never saw him again. I wanted so desperately to believe we could raise ourselves from this squalor that I never stopped to question his motives. But I should have known. There's no solution. Nothing we can do to change our lot. Our people are doomed to live and die like beasts. Listen to me, Wilred. Our home may be lost to us, but it takes more than stones and mortar to define who we are. No matter where we may be, Alamigo lives on within us all. It is for you to decide what make you know what to make of this legacy. But whatever you choose to do with your life, never forget to know that you owe it to this adventurer, an outsider. I, I won't. I promise. Thank you for saving me, and sorry I tried to kill you. No problem. Happens all the time. <laughs> My thanks as well, friend. Gives us hope to know that there are kind souls such as you out there. Little Alamigo may not have much in the way of comfort, but you will always be welcome here. Aww. I'll take the high potion. Yeah. Now, one thing I do find interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, going a little bit forward on story matters a little bit. You know, you've seen Ifrit. We will see others. What this was an attempt to add is the one thing we have not seen. Ah. Any of the twelve. Well, technically we have seen an attempt at the twelve, just not in this playthrough, because yeah. that's technically what Louis Swan did to reseal Bahamut as the moon of Dalvin uh, was falling. I don't think that counts as one of the twelve, though, okay, the initial... Oh, bit, yeah, was technically trying to summon all 12. He, he was trying to summon the power of the 12 with not actually summoning themselves, and he was trying to summon all of them at once. Yeah, but he was basically just going for the power and not for a natural physical summons, entity. yeah. Yeah. And he so, barely I, pulled it off. The crazy old cute. Yeah. Something like that. So, yeah, uh, my point still stands. We haven't actually seen anything. One of the twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Gundabald. Pencils and chestnuts. Back to square one. Gundabald wants to wish you well on your investigation. Would that we had more information to offer, but what Willard told you is the extent of our knowledge of the masked stranger. Left unchecked, that man will bring about great pain and suffering. I pray that you'll find and put a swift end to the creature, for the sake of the young ones who died by his poisoned, poisoned words. Back to Talia, and it is basically eleven. Want to break here then? Um. Well, maybe go up to Old Da and spend the week there. Okay, we can totally do that. Put little Alamigo behind us. Yeah. Now, end of the episode, time to write off into the uh, noonday sun. Hey, at least we're doing this and have gotten past the heat waves. That was the earlier weather. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Sabotender Baylor. We are so not dealing with you. <laughs> no, no, we're not. <laughs> but everyone... For those who are very much following the story, keep Willward in mind. We will see him again. Yes. I assume stop in at the uh, shift, the uh, quicksand for some drinks. Pretty much, yeah. I need a drink after this one. Uh, I think we both do. <laughs> I'm surprised if you didn't. I'm feeling a bit parched. And some bait. Yeah. Worse than dry bone. Who'd have thunk? Yeah, I don't know if it actually...
hardly ever rains out there in Thanaland. Or Southern yeah, Thanaland. Yeah, I don't think it... Yeah. Uh, oh, in Southern? No, I don't think it does. Too dominated by the uh, Sigoli Desert. Yeah. Which is an area we won't see for a while. That's a high-level portion of that zone. I'm gonna sit over here. Sounds good. Well, thank you all very much for joining us. Uh, it is mm -hmm. 11 o'clock, which means Ladonia here gets to turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> Uh, next week, we will uh, finish off the storyline by turning into Memphilia. And my guess is she's going to send us back to Limza. Limza? Okay. Because I think we need to go talk to... The guy who owns Costa del Sol. Oh, no. Really? GG Ruju. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Well, that does it. I'm not looking forward to next week. Well, I am kind of looking forward to next week. Um, let's see. The Cascadia uniform vouchers, you turn and turn those in in Mordona, don't you? Yeah, they go to Mordona. Dang it. I'm not going to have a bathing suit for that. Yeah, I know. Costa del Sol is the total sit on the beach and enjoy the sun place. And ignore the owner. You totally ignore the owner. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all very much for coming. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Uh, we will try next Pretty week much. for uh, Riley and Theron's Have It On High's run to start that a little early on our end so you guys can see some higher levels. Yeah. And wish us luck that we'll actually make it past maybe 75 this time. <laughs> yes, yes. Hey, the 71 yeah. curse is well and truly broken. That is nice. Yeah, yeah. We we just need to get to 80 consistently now, and then we can p push forward. Yep. Practice, practice, practice. Woohoo. You guys all have a great week. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Get some good sleep. Get some good water in you. We and want to see you next week. maybe get a little week. bit of sunlight. Oh, yeah. Sunlight. Sunlight is good. Just don't overdo it. <laughs> I hear there's plenty of it out there at the moment. Yeah, it'd be nice to see some of it. <laughs> okay, guys. It's been great having you uh, over for a story hour and a half. And would, would, would you to stop that? On the table, or even? Yes, I know. Spill the drinks. <laughs> what can you do? Dogs and cats living together. Good night, all. Good night, everybody. <laughs>